And Rob Julie, just a little bit ago, we watched as two of Jalen's school friends set up that cross and balloons behind me, a memorial to their third grade friend. It might be a little hard to see from here, but they wrote, I'll miss you on that wooden cross. The first few days of classes should be an exciting time. <sighs> But it's a tough Tuesday at Jefferson Elementary School. There's a huge void today. Eight-year-old Jalen Duncan hit and killed on his way home from school Monday. Police say the third grader tried to cross Grover near 45th in the middle of the street, right in front of an eastbound Mini Cooper. Your heart just sinks because you just hope that it's not true. Jefferson principal Jennifer Schlapia says Jalen was a joy to be around. It didn't matter if he knew you or not. He was always going to greet you. He was always going to tell you good morning. The hallways now a little quieter. Schlapia says students and staff have been meeting with grief counselors all day. It'll be hard. Hard for the person behind the wheel, too. Police have not cited the 23-year-old man. Witnesses believe he may not have had time to react. I don't want to eat because I feel it really bad. Maria Rangel is the driver's mom. The boy just crossed in front of the, my car and I can, I can, you know, stop. That's what he told me. Yeah. With a young life lost too soon, Schlapia hopes families have serious conversations with their kids about crosswalks. We have to teach our kids how to use these things and know how to get home safely. I also talked to Jalen's mom a little bit earlier. She tells me she's leaning on family support right now. There is a GoFundMe page set up to help the family with funeral expenses. That link is posted on KETV.com. Reporting live at 45th and Grover, Camilla Ortiz, KETV News Watch 7.